The Holy Tales. Hi, my name is Tubby, and I live here in this wonderful library, and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends, Gumbo and Freckles. Over there on the Bible is Holy. She is really wonderful and tells us awesome stories from the Bible. Whenever she is awake, that is. None will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love, my God will take care of you. Hi, Holly. Please tell us another story. All right, I will. But today's story is a really sad one. Why? But you never tell us sad stories. I know, but today's story is about Jesus' death, and I know how much children love him. Oh, Jesus can't! I'm quite sure Jesus can't die, Holy. Tell us the story. Well, children, Jesus was arrested. The priests were jealous of Jesus and wanted him to die, so they made the people go against him. The Roman governor Pilate knew that Jesus was innocent. But he could not do anything to save Jesus. So Jesus was taken to a place called Skull Hill, also called Golgotha, outside Jerusalem, where he would be crucified and put to death. Two other thieves were also being put to death along with Jesus. Jesus was put on a cross by the guards and then set upright on the ground. Many of his followers and disciples had gathered to see him. For the last time, among the people were Jesus's mother Mary and one of his closest disciples, John. Before he died, Jesus prayed to the Lord, "Father, please forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing." Then he looked at John and said, "John, Mary will be your mother." He looked at Mary and said, "Mother." John will now be your son. The priests were getting very impatient. The guards then made sure that the two thieves were dead. By the time they reached Jesus, he was already dead. They pierced him to check if he was dead or not. John took Mary to his house and took care of her from that moment onwards. Now, who will answer my question today? Jesus can't die. He is the Son of God. Hang in there, Freckles. Keep the faith. Now, answer my question. What was the name of the place where Jesus was crucified? Skull Hill. But it was also called Golgotha, wasn't it, Holy? Yes. Both of you are correct. Now, let us all sing together. That should make Freckles happy. Come on, Freckles. Sing along with us. God will take care of you. Beneath His wings. Hi, Holy! Wake up! It is time for you to tell us a story. Who said I was asleep? I was just sitting here waiting for you guys to come. We are here, ready and waiting. But Holy, I hope this isn't another sad story. I don't like to hear sad stories. Well. There is hope in this one. I hope you won't feel sad after listening to this story. So Jesus was put to death on a cross at a place called Golgotha, which was outside Jerusalem. After Jesus died on the cross, one of his secret followers, Joseph, asked for permission from Pilate, the Roman governor, to bury Jesus's body. Joseph was a rich man who had come from Arimathea. So Joseph and his friend Nicodemus took Jesus's body to be buried. Nicodemus was another secret disciple of Jesus, like his friend Joseph. They wrapped Jesus in a clean cloth and took him to a newly built tomb, which was not very far away from Golgotha. Nicodemus had brought a special mixture of myrrh and aloe. They spread the mixture all over the body of Jesus and wrapped him. In a clean linen, according to Jewish customs. After.
after everything was done, Joseph and Nicodemus closed the tomb with a huge boulder. Many people were waiting outside. Mary Magdalene was one of them. The Jewish leaders knew that Jesus had made a promise that he would rise from death after three days. So they all went to Pilate and requested him to seal the tomb and guard it with soldiers all day and all night to make sure that none of Jesus' disciples could try to steal his body. Pilate agreed. The priest sealed the tomb and it remained under the watchful eyes of the guards. I knew Jesus couldn't die. If he promised that he would rise from death, then I am sure he will. We will wait and see, Freckles. Now my question, what was the name of the woman who was standing in front of the tomb when Jesus was being buried? It was Mary Magdalene. Correct. Now off you go, children. I will tell you another story tomorrow. The Holy Tales. Wake up, Holy. It's time for you to tell us a story. Please, don't sleep anymore. Yes, we have come to listen to your story and also answer your question at the end. Uh, sure, sure. Hmm. Let's start with today's story. Tubby, listen to the story carefully. It was a very sad time in Jerusalem. Since Jesus had been crucified, darkness had fallen on the whole town. The people were very sad because they had lost their God. It was on the third day since Jesus' death that the sun was finally rising. It was a Sunday morning. Mary from Bethany and Mary Magdalene, two women who loved Jesus very much, came to the tomb where Jesus was kept. Suddenly, there was an earthquake and an angel appeared before them, rolling away the large stone covering the mouth of the tomb. He sat by the open tomb while the inside of the tomb was flashing like lightning. The guards of the tomb were afraid and very scared. They fell down with fear. The angel knew that the women had come to see Jesus, so he said, You would not find him in the tomb. Jesus has left death behind, just as he said he would. The angel showed the women the place in the tomb where Jesus had lain. The angel then sent a message to Jesus' disciples through the women that Jesus would be found in Galilee, where they should go and meet him. Happy at this miracle, the women run back to tell the people this good news. But how did Jesus come out of the tomb? Silly, he is the son of God. He can do anything. Yes. So the question for today is, what happened when the angel rolled away the stone from Jesus' tomb? There was an earthquake. Very good, Tubby. You're really paying attention today. Now I am off to sleep. I am feeling very tired and sleepy. Hello, children! That was a lovely song! We sang that just for you! We practiced and practiced and practiced! I'm sure you did! And because all of you sang so beautifully, I will tell you a nice story from the Bible that I just read. Yay! We cannot wait! Do tell us! Alright! The followers of Jesus once met in a room where they had eaten their last supper with him. The door was locked because they were scared that the Jewish leaders might find them. Suddenly, Jesus was there with them. He said, Peace be with you. Why are you scared? I am Jesus. The followers couldn't speak because they were so happy to see him. Jesus told them that he would send them out to the world to do his work just as God had sent him. He told them to hide 
until he sent the Holy Spirit to them. One of the followers, Thomas, was not in the room at the time. When the others told him about Jesus, he didn't believe them. He said, I will not believe unless I have seen and touched him myself. A few days later, Jesus once again came to the room where the followers were staying. The door was locked this time too. But this time, Thomas was with them. Jesus said to Thomas, Happy and blessed are those who cannot see me, yet believe in me. After Thomas had touched Jesus and had seen his hands, where the nails had been put in for the cross, Thomas bowed down and cried, My Lord! My Lord! Jesus said, You believe because you can see me. Happy and blessed are those who cannot see me, yet believe in me. Oh my God, Holy! How could his follower doubt Jesus? I can't see him, but I believe in him. Tubby, that is nice. Now, I will ask a question. Which follower doubted that Jesus had come to see them? I think I know. It was Doubting Thomas. Whoa, Freckles, you are so smart. <laughs> Did you doubt that, Doubting Tubby? Of course you are smart, Freckles, and not just a pretty face. Thank you, Holy. Now will you sing with us or do you want to sleep? I think I will sing along. Holy Tales <laughs>